In today's video, I want to talk about the framing of comfort as the greatest addiction that there is. Now, we often don't view comfort in this way. We tend to associate it with safety, with peace, with relaxation. It kind of relates from tension, the anguish and the generic hardships of life. You know, comfort, it often feels good, even necessary to us for our mental and psychological well-being but when we reside in it too long when our life becomes exclusively oriented and trapped within the comfortable we stop growing you see we we cease to really learn deeply about ourselves when we reside purely in comfort and as a result of this we stagnate as people over time we really we atrophy physically emotionally and mentally and growth it almost it necessarily demands something more some kind of exertion of us outside of our comfort zone you know in order to truly understand ourselves on a deeper level and to perceive the world with deeper clarity we need to contend with discomfort you know it's through discomfort through this motion of pushing our limits and meeting resistance and we discover our true potential and our true limits and obviously this process isn't easy at all by its very nature it arouses fear anxiety and uncertainty but these are all these negative or quote-unquote negative emotions all they are are emotional signals that we are approaching the edges of our comfort zone and we are stepping into the unknown they they signify that boundary point and you see it is in the unknown in this dancing with the chaos of reality that true growth lies and you see i know we all know it is terrifying to feel as though the demands of the moment or a situation exceeds our capabilities but when we are able to move through that often internal resistance that internal fear or failure you know it's through that motion of moving through it that we discover something profound we discover our resilience our strength and our true selves you know failure and hardship you know and difficulty they're not inherently bad we've been almost conditioned to avoid these experiences to turn away from them but what if you know we could cultivate the opposite attitude what if we could embrace them instead what if we could welcome difficult things as teachers you know do you honestly believe that living a life that totally avoids pain that avoids fear that avoids challenge do you think that truly leads to fulfillment i don't i don't think it does at all i think the reason we feel these emotions is because they are meant to teach us they are energetic markers that call for our attention and it is through this kind of mindful attention to the situations and the moments and the experiences which make us feel you know fearful anxious and you know uncomfortable it is through our attention moving and piercing through those sort of things that we discover deeper truths of ourselves and reality you, you see fear you know it often lurks in the shadows of our experience it is often ignored or suppressed because you know to to truly become acquainted with fear it's um it's an uncomfortable experience but you see if we can allow ourselves to bring fear to our, our conscious awareness to the foreground of our mind and if we are able to confront it authentically this confrontation will always bring transformation on the other side of fear lies treasure lies self-knowledge and actualization and as you are able to repeatedly engage with fear your capacity to endure fear and to grow through it will 
expand. You know, each confrontation with fear will push your boundaries outward, granting you greater capacity as an individual and greater awareness. Conversely, if you repeatedly turn away from fear, this shrinks your world, this shrinks your capabilities as a person, and it confines you to an ever narrowing field of comfort. You know, comfort is addictive, it limits your reality, it's a refusal to face the resistance that is required to grow. And yet, resistance is the very essence of life. All living things grow through friction, through challenge, through meeting and overcoming obstacles. You know, to refuse, to avoid discomfort, to avoid resistance, is to avoid life itself. You know, life, it will test us daily with distractions, with temptations, with fears. And our task as life forms is to sit with these feelings, is to observe them without flinching and to understand their roots. You know, fear does not need to be avoided. It needs to be understood. And when we cultivate a relationship of acceptance with fear, we transcend it. You know, I think this is... This is, real, this is the real core of what I'm trying to communicate. You know, if you are able to stand calmly in the face of fear, in the face of anguish, in the face of discomfort, you become a kind of immovable foundation. And this, this really is, I cannot emphasize this enough, you know. You know, you benefit yourself by cultivating this resilience and as well you benefit people around you by being a person who can sit with chaos, who can sit with strife and move through it with clarity and dedication. You know, growth, it always begins beyond the threshold of comfort. So really remember that. Um, like and subscribe, all that jazz. Goodbye.